Meet the egg, teeny tiny jelly bean shaped laid by Queen Bee herself, up to 2,000 a day. After three days, boom, egg hatches into a larva, hungry, squirmy, and fed royal jelly. Yes, that's a thing. If the larva gets extra royal jelly, it might become a queen, but most, they're destined to be worker bees. After six days of stuffing its face, the larva spins a silky cocoon. Enter pupa stage. Wings, eyes, legs, and fuzzy stripes are forming. Think of it like a bee's version of a superhero origin story. Around day 21, our bee breaks out of the cell, ready for action. New bees start with indoor chores, cleaning cells, feeding babies, even guarding the hive like tiny bouncers. After a few days, it's time for the ultimate promotion forager bee. Forager bees fly out up to five miles scouting for flowers. They slurp nectar and get pollen stuck to their fuzzy bodies. Back at the hive, they do the waggle dance to tell others where the goods are. Yes, bees literally dance to communicate. They're not just hoarding nectar, they're pollinating plants. That means fruits, veggies, even your morning coffee exists thanks to bee butt wiggles. A worker bee lives only about five to six weeks in summer, but in that time, she can visit 2,000 flowers a day. Each bee plays a part in the hive superorganism, a buzzing machine that keeps the planet blooming. From egg to eco-hero, the life of a bee is a non-stop hustle. So next time you see a bee, give her a nod. She's probably on a flower-fueled mission to save the world.